best. I am not ready for this weather. I have to put plastic bags in my hands over my gloves. I have like eight hours of this today. So, uh, it was raining really hard. I couldn't take it no more. So I'm staying at the border, this waiting room where they told me I could sleep. So hopefully my boots and everything gets dry for tomorrow. I can't be wet with 40 degrees weather. Procuros Motos. Warning, the audio for this video is being recorded with rain. Anyways, so I made it alive to Punta Arenas where I went to a mechanic to fix a leak on my bike. He didn't charge me a thing. He even cut a new brake pad into shape to fit my bike. I'm so thankful. So I'm here in Punta Arenas with my new good friend Karen. She hooked it up with a place to stay, with a friend's apartment or something. Point is, I have a place for myself. So we went to visit the cemetery, which takes the third spot in the coolest cemeteries that I've visited, after the one in Tulcán, Ecuador, and the one in Buenos Aires. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy now. I think definitely, this is definitely gonna keep me warm, so I'm definitely gonna put this in this way of fucking no They told me about an old trick to stay warm on the road with newspaper. So here I am. There's nobody more practical than me when traveling. See, I got plastic bags plus these things are all broken. Some cover for my boots. I'm ready. I got stuck in the sand all for a damn picture. Thankfully, somebody stopped to help me push it out. Only I do stupid shit like that. Look at this! <laughs> I can't believe this! 29,000 kilometers. El mundo! The whole world! Ushuaia! Alaska! Alaska caminando! Ushuaia, Alaska caminando! He's walking in sandals and I'm freezing! The flag is upside down, but so is the country. There he goes. I can't even unbuckle my pants. God, I'm so cold. So I'm at Cesar's wood shop in Piedra Buena, and all the leftovers here will go to the right place. Yo por eso me quejo y me quejo. Porque aquí es donde vivo yo ya no soy un pendejo que no guachas los puestos del gobierno. Sus cabezas y le das más. El mexicano está viajando en moto. Y salió de Miami hace siete meses. Se llama Pangea. Pangea nómadas. If I'm cold with this. Thank you. Yes. Cesar gave me this overall which kept me warm the rest of my way up. Thank you Martin from Miami Rust for hooking it up with the contact. And of course, the day had to get horrible. I had to camp in the middle of nowhere and be stuck in my tent for 16 hours. So it looks like I'm still stuck here. Uh, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. So by the looks of it, today's gonna be another horrible day. It is cold outside. Thank goodness I came across these beautiful people. I just asked them for directions and they gave me some coffee and some bread. Saluda a México. Tenemos acá un hermano guachucano. Perdido. Perdido. Perdido en Chile. Pero ya me encontré. So I was at a gas station uh, about 50 miles from here and they told me about another Moto Encuentro so I had to get out of the way 50 miles but I did it and I came across some of the same people awesome I got already my beer I'm gonna get some barbecue tonight and isn't that sound lovely bike from Colombia this couple they've been traveling for a year and a half un año y medio no Mario and his uh, girlfriend or wife uh, and they actually stayed at La Lala Paisa. Sí. Remember him? Yo no soy marinero, soy capitán. They spend uh, Christmas and New Year's with them. Sergio here, he was in the other Moto Encuentro in uh, Esquel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Es mentira, Kiko, te mintieron. No tomaba una taza de café. Se la estaba llevando adentro de tu mamá para hacerle cosas feas. <risa> y don Ramón en realidad le daba a la bruja de 71. Porque la vieja lo bancaba. I'm so happy to be part of another motorcycle meetup. Bikers down here are family. They might have hundreds of clubs, but when they get together, they're all like one. She's 65 years old and she still rides. It was extremely windy the next day, but that didn't stop any of us from riding. Viva México, cabrones. Buena ruta, Colombia. Viva Colombia. Gracias. Sergio invited me to spend the night at his place, so we rode together. So most likely, we're both gonna run out of gas. Well, I I ran out of gas. Thankfully, they had some reserve. They gave me like two liters. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Ella es la mala suerte. Gracias por todo, Sergio. De nada. Ya sabes, cuando quieras. Oh man, how much I missed the sun. Since I was passing by Villa Langostura again, I went to see Pita, who gave me a roof on my way down. Lo logré. Fui al fin del mundo y volví. No lograste nada porque no llegaste a Suaya. ¿Cómo que no llegué a Suaya? Me está bien repodrido. No sabes un carajo. Lo dijo Trump y es verdad, boludo. Ahora Trump. Pero Trump es mi ídolo, pero todo. I went to see my cousin Mauro, who happened to be in Villa with his friends. You can tell that's my cousin, right? Because he's bold. While they were fishing, I was just enjoying the view. Holy shit. <laughs> if I was gonna eat, I had to at least pretend to help a little. Vamosito! <laughs> On the next episode on Pangea Nomads. El viaje ha empezado. In parkour on a cemetery. Es parkour in the island of Chile. Caminando.